April 17, 2021. Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Fort Lauderdale, Florida, USA. CF Montreal forward Mason Toy, 13, celebrates with teammates after scoring a goal against Toronto FC during the first half at DRVPNK Stadium. Mandatory credit. Jason Vinlove USA Today Sports after their first win of the season. The Chicago Fire stay at Soldier Field to face a different kind of challenge in CF Montreal. Both teams came into the season with a lot of questions and a lot of predictions for struggles, but both teams have gone in wildly different directions each week compared to the other. This week, they'll finally meet up. Let's check who will be available. Ignacio Aliceta is reportedly ready to finally play for the first time since his short appearance in the season opener, but after a win last week it might not be likely for there to be too many changes in the starting lineup. So that means that Gaston Jimenez, who was out last week with a hip injury, might not be coming back just yet either. As for who's gone, Shemislav Frankowski has been called up to the Polish national team and will be playing against Russia on Tuesday, so he will be unavailable. For CF Montreal, Mason Toy, Balu Tabla, and Zach Brault Giard are the notable players listed as out on the MLS injury report. Here are three things to look for in Saturday's game. Return of George Probably the biggest story going into this game specifically is the return of George Mihailovic, who was traded earlier this year for up to $1 million in allocation money. George was a homegrown player signed out of high school and almost immediately given a starting role on the team. But after a few years of inconsistency and playing out of position, he was deemed as fairly expendable. I don't blame the Chicago Fire for trading George. They got value out of an asset that wasn't paying off. I also don't think George is bad. In fact, I believe that the trade was the best possible option for George, who has been given new scenery and a coach that will play him exactly where he should be played at the 10 spot. George has had a phenomenal season so far scoring two goals and assisting another, but he might have an even better night against the Fire, who are notorious for allowing goals to former players in their first meetings. The best defense is no defense An important thing to note from the Chicago Fire's previous game against Inter Miami is that they were a much better team when they didn't spend the entire game with everyone coming back to defend. It's already been proven many times this season that even with all 11 men inside the box, the Fire cannot defend properly. So that means that the most effective way for Chicago to defend their goal is to just keep the ball from getting into their own final third. This is easy to say, hard to do, but at the same time it should just be the mindset of the team. If bolstering the defense isn't actually bolstering the defense, then focus on scoring.